local news that matters. You're watching KLBK Bright and Early. Welcome back to KLBK Bright and Early. Aaron Gregg joins us now from Lubbock ISD. Thank you so much for being with us, Aaron. Thanks for having me. Yes, ma'am. What's happening in this week's Out and About? Well, Sasha, students at Evans Middle School recently took part in a week-long chess tournament. The goal was to see which students would advance to compete at another school. But as we learned on this visit, the game also teaches students critical life skills. So let's watch. We're all working to get better at chess. Eighth grader Wyatt Wilkins is one of several Evans Eagles who spent their lunch break strategically battling for positions on a chess board. It honestly is just pretty relaxing. I just have to sit there and just think. I don't have to worry about anything else going on. I noticed kids would come after school to put their minds on something pretty, pretty intense just for fun. Teacher Wade Parks first began teaching chess to students at Alderson Elementary. My principal asked if anybody had an activity that kids needed to learn they had funding available for after school programs. Now, in his 22nd year teaching chess to students, Parks says he's seen the difference it can make. We talk a lot with my chess players about a difficult position on a chess board, and after we, we look at it with a chess lens, it's really simple and it gets automatic to turn it right back out into their school day. A third period moment with a friend who's not getting along with a teacher or I forgot my assignment. We can relate it to a chess position, a hundred times out of a hundred and when you see children start to double check themselves that's when we feel the the actual results one of the biggest things i teach is that there is a consequence to every action chess takes it a step further and teaches you to start taking your next step and understanding what the end consequence will be of that next move. And students like Wyatt say they are making those connections. Thinking about everything that you're doing a lot more because you get to a lot more focused on what you're doing in your life. And a lot of us teachers, we don't get to see the results of our work. This one shows immediate response time and that makes it worth coming back tomorrow. And Communities and Schools puts on the tournament that includes multiple schools in our district, so thank you to CIS. And don't forget, students don't have school today as our staff takes part in professional development. That's right. All right. Thank you again for being with us. Aaron. Thanks, Sasha. Yes, ma'am.